they deserve to be remembered. The Nazis want to eradicate who they were, what they stood for. What's inside these plain-looking file cabinets could be one way for millions to remember people once forgotten or erased. They are the secrets of the darkest era in the 20th century, the Holocaust. They are the records of Nazi persecution of more than six million Jews. The International Tracing Service has held millions of Nazi documents from World War II for half a century in Bad Arlesen, Germany. Because of privacy concerns, the records have been kept secret, but no more. After years of pressure from the United States and Holocaust survivors groups, the records will be open for scholars, victims, and their families. Critics say it's way overdue, but over the years, the ITS has answered 11 million requests to locate people from the Holocaust. The backlog is staggering, but workers vow to answer all requests. We have noticed, of course, that we have a, an excessive backlog which could not be recuperated from the, over the past years, uh, even if we had been working quite hard. But now we gave an absolute priority to this. The Associated Press was given extensive access to the files, provided no names are revealed unless already identified by other sources. The content is powerful, haunting, and painful. It is a record of murder. Millions of victims are on the lists, but at least one name jumps out. Annalise M. Frank. Anne Frank. She lived in hiding for 25 months in a tiny apartment with her family and two other families. She was on one of the last trains to Germany before Holland was rescued from Nazi occupation, but it was too late for her. She died six months later of typhus. She was 15 years old. The diary of Anne Frank is one of the most widely read books on the Holocaust. Most of the victims are not as well known. There are the personal effects of Cornelis Brauenstein. When he was 22, he disappeared into a Nazi gulag for illegally possessing a radio. He died in a labor camp. There are the details of the Lebensborn program. That was the scheme in which children deemed to have the, quote, proper genes were adopted or even kidnapped to further Adolf Hitler's dream of a master race. For Rabbi Abraham Cooper, the release of these records will keep the story of the Holocaust, its victims and perpetrators, alive for generations to come. To see grandchildren or sometimes children say, wait a second, that's my grandfather or my father's signature. We don't have anything like that. And you know what? It looks like mine. So never mind the fact that it was a, a, a Nazi form, right, that had to be filled out. Uh, it, that wasn't important. Some semblance, some proof uh, to the generation following that it actually had lived. Uh, in some ways is more important than even the details that are written down there. Nancy Lyons, The Associated Press.